Hello and welcome back to my channel and I appreciate everyone that's watched my last video and I appreciate everyone that has signed up for the channel. Uh, I got several new subscribers and I'm over 100 subscribers. So first goal met, which is amazing. Next goal, I really wanna to get to 1,000 subscribers and uh, that's my next goal. So for the goal for 2019 is 1,000 subscribers. So if you know anybody that you think would benefit from my videos, Maybe you share my video to them on Facebook or something. Anyway, I appreciate all those that uh, subscribed. And I got comments about what car I should work on next. And most of everyone has said the Camaro. Some of the things I'll be working on uh, for the next few videos. One of the major problems I've had is I haven't been able to get this thing to 60 uh, PSI uh, fuel pressure. And that's what the FI Tech unit requires. I can only get it to 40. I think what I did wrong was when I put the fuel pump in there, I didn't clamp down one of the hoses. I think that's the problem. Now if I pull it out and, and that wasn't the problem, I'm just a dumb dick. I don't know. If you guys watched my old videos, you noticed that when I pulled the carpet out, that this was already cut. I would have never cut this out of my car. I would probably would not have created an access panel for it, but because it's already cut and the previous owner did that, I'm gonna make an access panel. Ugh, just repairing it doesn't make sense at this point. Someone already dove in. And it's not even all the way done. It's like they attempted to do it. I didn't remove it all the way. So I'm gonna set up some lighting so you guys can see what I'm doing. Cover up my back seats so I don't get burnt. And I'm gonna cut the sucker out. So, got my safety gloves, glasses, <clears throat> cut off wheel. Not the safest to use, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scar the other side of this metal. That way I can bend it back and forth and break it off. I do not plan on going all the way through the metal and possibly hitting the tank. So I'm gonna try it this way. Um, if you have shears or a different way of cutting or removing the tank, I suggest doing that before doing this, but you gotta be really careful. I'm also gonna cover um, the gas tank area with a piece of metal, so to avoid any um, hot sparks going on the other side. So that's the plan of attack. With the top piece undone, that looks like crap over there. Looks like crap. The only thing that looks decent is this cut over here and it's not even straight. So, I need to clean that and get a, cut a piece of metal to cover this. And I'm probably gonna cut this straight. I'll do that with a flap disc. Anyway. <clears throat> Now comes the hard part. It is these lines all go like down there. And the best way to take those out is underneath the car. So I just open up the new one. It even has a new plug for it. 
And these are the connections you have to remove. So just like one of those, three of those. One's like an air vent to vent to outside. Return. O-ring on it. Nice. There's the carousel for the fuel pump and the top piece. So it goes in there like this. Straight in there. I'm gonna keep the plastic on it until I'm ready to put it in. But I have to get underneath the car, uh, undo those lines right there. And I'll show you some of that. Not all of it, like some of it. Cause I'm fat and getting underneath the car is not the easiest thing, so. Hey princess, can you please put down the iPad and help me? You're interrupting my vampire diaries. Stefan just turned off his emotions and I really have to see what happened. No one likes vampire diaries at all. Why don't you watch The Punisher or something? I told you, do not judge me with my robe, okay? This robe's awesome. It's comfortable. It keeps me warm and secure inside. I need a rubber mount. What do you want me to get you again? <sighs> yeah, no, it's at the workbench. Scrap. It's up there. Yes. No. No, not that one. Not that. Yes, that's the one. Yes. Thank you. What the, what the hell was that? Did you drop all my tools? What are you doing? What are you doing? What? Just to bring, bring me my pockets here. Okay. So anytime you're underneath your car, I highly recommend safety glasses. And dealing with gas, you should probably have some type of rag. So this is what you're seeing between the gas tank and you can kind of see my open area up here where the light's coming out of. These are the four lines we have to disconnect. So I'm gonna disconnect those. You also have a, a clip to unhook right here. That goes right over here. So I believe that was a problem. I didn't have any bands on here to hold the pressure. So I wanted to get a new one of these anyway, so I bought a new one and I will hook these up now. All 
All right, now that I have the other pump off, or the, this pump off the other one, we need to put it on this one, the new one. But first things first, we gotta hook up our Aeromotive connection to this thing right here. So these have um, solder in the heat shrink things. So I'm just using these to get a good seal. And next thing I'm gonna be doing is, I'm gonna cut these lines. And then I am going to get a new filter. If you have it out, might as well replace it. Plus I have gunk all over it. So I'll get a new filter. Get some new hose clamps. Now, I know there has been no fuel introduced to the system yet. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and use a cutting wheel to cut here, 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 and here. I'm gonna stagger the cuts. That way I can connect them via hose within the car. Um, that's the best route when you're doing this kind of stuff. Okay, got my fuel line. Got my new filter. Got some clamps. Got a flaring tool. Let's uh, let's flare some lights. All right, got these flared. I'll do the other two and put them in. All right, so we are going to put the fuel pump on this little tray with my new little filter. This thing is stuck from the last filter, so I'm gonna need to remove that first. All right. 
so kind of have a there's the sock at the bottom there's the aeromotive pump which does like 90 psi the two clamps this is the float right here it tells you your how much gas you have in this bad boy the clip everything's soldered on here and at the end you got the, the pieces in here so this thing is ready to go back in uh, to the car All right, I have all my hose connections hooked up. It's time to start her up and see what happens. See and make sure we're not leaking anything. That's why I saw it on stands. Let's see what uh, kind of fuel pressure we get. Well, hopefully the fuel pump turns on. Oh wow, <laughs> that's a lot of pressure. Okay, don't see any leaks up here. Let's go underneath and make sure we're not leaking. I do not see any leaks. Okay, so the only problem I have is uh, my fuel gauge is still not working. I thought replacing that uh, unit was going to fix it. As you can see, it doesn't work. Um, I have no pedal. Hmm. All right. It seems a lot snappier. It's not a dog right now. Lord, cut out and do all kinds of crazy stuff. Oh yeah. Okay, I am super stoked that this fixed the the issue of the fuel pressure. I should have put those clamps on there the first time. I just saved myself a lot of hassle. Um, in the next video, I'm going to have to create some type of panel to go over the fuel tank right there. I wanted to do it in this video, but uh, this is already too long. It's already too long. So I'll create a second video on putting um, an access panel on. Um, this is probably one of the most controversial modifications to Camaro's. And uh, either you're for it or you're against it. Really, 
I was a type that would just drop the rear end and pull the the gas uh, tank out. But when I pulled the carpet up to replace it, I noticed that it was already cut out halfway, actually three quarters of the way. And I figured I might as well fix it. So I'm gonna do the access panel, I'm gonna do it that way and go that route. So you may hate me for it, but again, I've already put a fuel pump in here. I pulled it all out the right way. And here I am uh, putting an access panel in. So anyway, hate me for it or like me for it. There's, <laughs> there's a great divide on the third gen forums about this stuff, but a lot of people do it. It is what it is. Anyway, thank you all for those that have subscribed over the last couple weeks. I really appreciate it. Um, looking forward to this channel building. I probably have stuff all over my face. Anyway, looking forward to this channel building. Um, it's 2019. There's going to be a new car coming up here soon. Um, it's one of my wife's dream cars. I'll just leave it at that. So we're going to have that on the channel. I'm going to do some stuff to it. And there actually might be another car, too, I might be getting here soon, too. So there's two cars coming up. Um, that doesn't mean I'm going to take all my focus away from this. It just means that I'll have more content. That's more work for me. More weekend stuff. More weekend projects. Anyway, until next time. Uh, oh, <laughs> and I have a really cool mod coming in. Uh, it's going to be arriving next Monday. So after you see this video, it'll be here the following Monday. And my next video will be me installing that on this camera. So I'm really stoked about it. I've been wanting this thing for a long time. And if you're my Instagram follower, um, you'll see it, uh, see a picture of it. So um, until next time. Thanks, guys. Uh, you guys have a great day. Thank you. Bye.